my Middle Eastern inspired main course starts with pitta toasted simply in the oven. Whenever I have friends round, I just have to stop myself making this beef and aubergine fatty. I first had a version of it in a Lebanese restaurant and I've been obsessed with it ever since. Now, I can do this because I have asbestos fingers and I'm impatient. But a wiser person might let these pitta triangles cool a bit before arranging them on the plate. So the toasted pitta layer is done. Now for the beef and aubergine, which starts off with olive oil. Generous amount. And some finely chopped onion. And I want to cook this patiently and gently so that it's soft and golden. So I'm going to turn the heat up and add these Dolly mixture sized cubes of aubergine. It's one aubergine that makes this pile. The reason I cut the aubergine into such small dice, intensely boring though it is, is not only because they'll cook faster that way, but because they'll also give a much more even covering on the pitta later. So now the aubergine confetti has softened and fused almost with the onion. Some spicing is in order, cumin, and coriander. I'm using ground cumin and ground coriander here, which gives them much more pungency. And now that glorious Aleppo pepper, so beautiful. Looks like flakes of terracotta. Generous amount of salt. Aubergine is quite extraordinary at just drinking up flavour. So on top of these toastedly spiced aubergines, some minced beef. Need the heat up a bit for the beef because I want it to brown fast. Now this isn't a sauce, I'm not going to add any liquid because what I want to do is to be able to add it in warm spice crumbles to the toasted pita bread. This isn't going to take very long to cook but while it does I'm going to have a casual tidy up. So the second layer is cooked and I'm just going to leave it here and I will get on with layer three. For this I need a small pan with a little bit of hot water at the bottom and my bain-marie helmet. And you know calling it a sauce makes it sound so much more complicated than it is because really it's just a question of stirring together a lovely lot of Greek yogurt with some tahini. Now the tahini you've got to have at room temperature before you use it, otherwise you'll just break a spoon trying to get it out. Quite a bit of this soft sesame paste. And a lot of lemon. A real citrus burst here. There's one decent sized lemon. Quite a bit of salt. and two fat cloves of garlic. This has got a bit of a kick. I'm going to turn the heat off now because the steam from the water underneath, as it is, will be enough to warm this mixture, which I want just above room temperature. 
And when it gets there, it has the texture of softly whipped double cream, and you can see that it's billowingly increased in volume. Mm, perfect, it needs nothing else. So, now for the grand assembly. So first we mounted on the warm spiced crumbles of beef and aubergine. And now I'm going to drape it with this creamy tahini sauce. I quite like a bit of the beef peeking out underneath, though. I want to sprinkle a bit of that Aleppo pepper I used earlier on top. Turn of the pomegranates, and I'm going to add some in almost jewelled clumps. And now the toasted pine nuts. And there are a lot of pine nuts and there are a lot of pomegranate seeds because they're not just decoration, beautiful though they are. It's all about adding texture as well. And finally, some finely shredded fresh mint. You know, I think of this as a refined Middle Eastern version of nachos, which I'm now going to bear proudly aloft.